Happy St. Patrick's Day out there. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. Today is Sunday, um, March 17th, 2019. Uh, again, happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone out there. Um, you know, around the world, I know in America we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I'm not, I'm not sure. I know in Ireland they definitely do that, um, whether or not um, everyone out in the world um, also ce celebrates St. Patrick's Day. Um, it would be nice if, you know, that, um, that you all did. Um, anyway, so since today is St. Patrick's Day, um, Wednesday, March 17, um, 2019, um, I thought this uh, cigar review would be um, Irish um, oriented and St. Patrick's Day oriented, so um, uh, I'll be pairing um, the cigar for this review um, with a few um, Irish related um, alcoholic beverages. Um, yeah, I, I want to um, let's talk about um, St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. Um, what a wonderful holiday, you know, it's a Sunday, I mean, I guess it could have, I mean, like, it, preferably, you know, St. Patrick's Day um, would have uh, fall, fallen on um, a Friday or a Saturday so that people can, like, you know, because usually, at least in America, I know in Ireland, St. Patrick's Day is a big drinking um, holiday, um, and uh, so people stay out late or whatever and, and, and drink their green beer or drink their Jameson or Irish coffees or whatever. Uh, something that we'll be doing. I, I don't have any green beer. I'm home. So, um, but I will be drinking an Irish beer. Um, and it's not a Guinness. <laughs> and um, so, yeah. So, St. Patrick's Day um, is, is, is the birth, is, a, is the day that um, the patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick, uh, passed away, which was March 17. Um... And it's and it's just, and it's a holiday celebrated in Ireland um, by uh, the Republic of Ireland and also Northern Ireland. Um, Ireland is a is a large island off the coast of, of England. Um, the Republic of Ireland and and Northern Ireland um, are pol politically separate. Um, Northern Ireland, um, which is a much smaller part of Ireland um, compared to no uh, the Republic of Ireland, um, is is under uh, British, um, under the uh, under 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 uh, Great Britain. Um, so, but both uh, the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland ce celebrate St. Patrick's Day, um, the Ireland's pa patron saint. Ireland is a country rich in culture. Um, they, you know, Irish music, um, especially Irish literature. And um, just a very rich uh, culture. Ireland has a very rich culture, you know, culinarily especially. Um, uh, just a wonderful, wonderful country. Um, um, and, and what a what a what a wonderful way of, of celebrating Irish culture and the Irish patron saint Saint Patrick um, than celebrating on um, Saint Patrick's Day. So um, yeah, so that's a little bit about. Um, St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful time to enjoy life. Um, you know, St. Patrick's Day is loved in America, and I'm sure they love it in Ireland and wherever they celebrate it around the world. Light a cigarette. I love St. Patrick's Day. Um, I mean, like, I mean, everyone, I mean, among my friends, we all get very excited, you know, on St. Patrick's Day just to uh, enjoy um, you know, enjoy the day and enjoy the night. Um, it's usually full of a lot of people and, um, just a great excuse to drink and party, you know, it's, it's a great holiday. I mean, it's not a, um, it's not a federal holiday, so, like, if it fell on a weekday, the government doesn't close down and, like, you know, businesses don't close down, like, say, Christmas or Easter, but it's just a great excuse to celebrate Irish culture and, um, Drink a few alcoholic libations, so, you know. But, um, yeah, so that's a little bit of, you know, happy St. Patrick's Day again out there. Um, so this is the St. Patrick's Day, um, uh, 
edition um, for Cigar Review, one of my Cigar Reviews. I neglected to tell you who I am. I'm Ray Calabas II. Um, this is another um, addendum to my original series of Cigar Reviews, um, a St. Patrick's edition. Um, the cigar for today is an Irish. I mean, I, I don't know of any Irish um, cigars. I, mean, I I would have tried to buy an Irish cigar if I, if I, if I knew of any. Um, it's an American cigar. Um, it's, uh, it's a Nat Sherman. Um, Nat Sherman um, is an old American uh, com tobacco company. Um, originally, um, they had a tobacco in a store um, uh, open in New York City in 1930. And since then, they've had a tradition of um, producing cigarettes and cigars. And other like maybe, and pipe tobacco, I believe. Um, so they've had a great tradition uh, with tobacco. Uh, recently, though, I guess about five, maybe seven years ago, uh, Nat Sherman kind of like rejuvenated their uh, cigar division. Uh, it started with um, a, a, a decision to to upgrade what they were doing, um, and they contracted someone to help them with it. His name is Michael Herklotz. Uh, he's the, the VP of um, Retail and Brand Development. And that's when they started to, in earnest, produce like cigars that appealed more to the modern cigar market. Um, and one of his brand, one of um, Nat Sherman's brands is a Nat Sherman um, Metropolitan. Uh, this one is the uh, Nat Sherman Metropolitan Host Maduro. It's a Maduro cigar. Um, I want to say the size of this is a uh, Corona Gorda. I want to say this is about five and a half inches long. Um, looks to be a, a 54 ring gauge. Um, not exactly a very dark Maduro. Um, it's almost bordering on a dark natural color. Um, another, another, um, another, uh, component to this cigar review is, I'm going to try to explain retrohaling. Um, I know for myself, I only learned how to retrohale maybe about two years ago. Um, I, I saw, I saw people over the internet doing it. I never really figured it out. Until I tried to understand it, um, and retrohaling, if you don't know, is when you draw on a cigar and then retrohale through your nostrils instead of your mouth. That's retrohaling when you retrohale through your nostrils, and sometimes it gives you a different flavor than whether when you um, exhale through your mouth. So I'll try. I'm going to give you um, like a demonstration and a how-to. Of retrohaling. I mean, I think a lot of people don't know how to do this, and I, I, I want to give you an example and um, kind of like a uh, an ex a description of how to retrohale um, in this in this in the cigar review. That'll go later. On. Obviously, I have to light the cigar. So that's the review. The um, Nat, Nat Sherman um, Host Maduro, Metropolitan Host Maduro. Um, mm -hmm. A uh, Maduro from from um, Nat Sherman, about five and a half inches long, about a 54 ring gauge. Um, the particular components of um, the Metropolitan Maduro is um, is a Honduran smoke. Um, it's a Honduran puro, um, and um, it the the wrapper is. Broadleaf Honduran, Honduran Broadleaf, and the bra and the binder and filler are um, Honduran too. So it's a Honduran smoke, um, but Nat Sherman is an American company based out of New York City. And the Irish St. Patrick part of this review, to pair with this cigar, some good old um, Irish coffee. Uh, Irish coffee is 
coffee, milk, and um, I put Jameson in there. The beer is good old Harp, Harp um, Lager. Uh, I believe Guinness is the um, maker of this um, lager, but Harp from Ireland. And then finally, I mean, like you can't can't have a St. Patrick's Day without Jameson. Uh, this is a special Jameson. It's Jameson Black Barrel. Um, it's it's been um, the the Jameson um, whiskey has been aged in all in, in charred oak and double charred oak barrels to give it uh, more of a, a caramel flavor. Anyway, that's the review for today. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. I uh, hope you guys are all well out there. Please be safe when you go out um, tonight uh, for St. Patrick's. Enjoy yourself, and I hope you all get home safe. All right. Goodbye. Uh, good, um, I'll see you later out there in the world. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, Why es que amigos. Ciao. Hey, guys. Back again. Um, again, happy St. Patrick's Day out there for everybody. Welcome to the St. Patrick's Day edition of Ray Cigar Reviews. Um, yeah, today is um, Sunday, uh, March 17th, 2019. Uh, beautiful spring day in Baltimore, Maryland. That's where we're at, Baltimore, Maryland. See the Oriole hat. Spring training, spring fevers in the air. Uh, we're all ready to celebrate uh, for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so then I'm going to cut the cigar. Um, I, if I neglected to say this before, this is the uh, Ned Sherman Metropolitan Host Maduro. Uh, Maduro Cigar, uh, made in Honduras by Ned Sherman, which is an American company out of New York City. Go ahead and cut this rather large ring gauge cigar. Um... Ooh, sweet. Wow, that's sugary sweet tobacco flavor coming off the um, uh, clipped head of the uh, Metropolitan. That was delicious. Never had something that sweet um, coming off a clipped head before off a cigar. That was really, that's, that's interesting. Bodes well, I guess. You know, that, sounds, that was delicious. Um, so I'm going to toast the, uh, the old foot here. Feels like it has a good draw. Wow. That first draw was um complex, rich, sweet tobacco. Wow, it's delicious. Nat Sherman, I mean like I, I don't smoke a lot of Nat Sherman's because like at most of the B and M's that I go to, I bought this at a B and M in Baltimore. Um, I, I go to a few of them, and, um, and, um, and the Nat Sherman is not carried by a lot of B&Ms, you know, you can find it on the internet, um, but Nat Sherman is a great cigar. I was looking for a Padilla. I, want, I wanted to review a Padilla, and none of, none of the local B&Ms um, had it, and they had the Nat Sherman, so I picked it up. I, I love Nat Sherman. I love Nat Sherman cigars. It's just that. They're not, they're not available everywhere, so I was fortunate enough to go to a B&M in Baltimore City that I, that I go to, and they had, they had some, so. Go ahead and, uh, uh, toast the edge of the foot. All right. That tasted delicious. Wow. There's a, a, a lot of sweet tobacco and a very dark, deep tobacco core. Uh, a little bit of spice, uh, very earthy. I mean, most Maduro's are earthy anyway. Um, 
a little bit of um, a little bit of chocolate um, coffee it is delicious. I got a little charcoal. Delicious. All right. Um, I, I promised to you that I would demonstrate retrohaling. I'm going to give you a description of how to re retrohale. Like when you draw on a cigar, right? You draw on the cigar, and before you exhale through your mouth, you hold it in your you hold the smoke in your mouth. So you don't exhale through your mouth. You hold your you hold the smoke in your mouth. And you try to move the smoke to the back of your palate or, or your mouth towards your throat. And when, the, when the smoke moves there, you breathe out through your nose or you retrohale. And that's how you retrohale. Very simple. Took me a long time to figure it out, but I mean, you know, why not demystify these things? If you want to learn how to retrohale, that's how you retrohale. You draw the cigar, hold, it, hold the smoke in your mouth. Move the smoke to the back of your palate or your or near or your or your mouth, closer to your throat, and then you breathe out through your nose. I'll give you an example. Similar similar as that. Um, do that again. That's how you retrohale. When you retrohale, sometimes the flavor changes. Usually I get lemon recently. I'm not getting lemon from the cigar. Um, a little bit of lemon. Late recently. Um, so that's how you retrohale. Uh, you, you, you draw on the cigar. You hold the smoke in your in your mouth. Try to move the smoke to the back of your palate or your mouth towards your throat. You could use your tongue, or just somehow you have to move it, move the smoke to the back towards the back of your mouth or your palate. And once it's there, then you retrohale through your um, through your nose, and that's how you retrohale. No one ever taught me. I figured it out. Um, I mean, you know, it's nice. I mean, if, if, if a lot of cigar smokers don't know how to do it. And um, that's pretty much it. So try to try to try to um, I don't know show these things. You know, you do. It, it's a different experience when you retrohale. Usually, it tastes a little different from when you um, um, exhale through your mouth. So. Let me tell you, this has got a great draw. I'm getting, it's so rich, easy, rich, thick, voluminous amounts of smoke. Um, just wonderful. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to some, have some water. Um, some uh, Irish coffee. Yeah, so um, this cigar is, man, this is a good cigar. <laughs> this is a great cigar. I mean, construction-wise, I mean, the draw, like I said, is full and easy, producing voluminous amounts of thick, rich, delicious tobacco smoke. Um, pretty, very, pretty firm, pretty firm cigar. Um, the burn's pretty good. Um... And the flavors are tremendous. Um, I would say the body is medium full, flavor is full, and strength is medium. Um, what a wonderful Maduro. And this does have Maduro flavors. I'm um, getting some bitter dark coffee, some rich tobacco, um, sweetness, uh, very complex. Um, very, very, very enjoyable smoke. Um, I should buy some more of these. These are great. Um, these are awesome. Uh, if you, if, if um, today's review again is the um, 
is the Metropolitan um, Post Maduro from Nat Sherman, a Honduran Puro, um, Honduran Broadleaf around um, Honduran Binder and Filler, um, made for Nat Sherman in New York City, tobacconist since 1930. Um, just a wonderful, 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 wonderful company and a wonderful, wonderful smoke. Ah, I'm getting popcorn too. Along with uh, black coffee, rich tobacco, spice, um, sweet, a lot of sweetness. I got a lot of sweetness on my tongue. Um, let's see what let's see what this is like through the retrial again. Spicy, perfumey. It's more perfumey through the uh, retro here. I'm not getting the lemon like I usually have for the past few months. But, um, uh, it's just wonderful. Um, so I'm hoping you all are having a wonderful uh, St. Patrick's Day out there. Again, have a great time, you know what I mean? Um, but I hope you all get home safe. Um, you know, uh, very spicy. It's a really strong tobacco with charcoal, black coffee, real spicy. Man, that is a great smoke. Um, so there we are into the first third of the uh, Ned Sherman Metropolitan Host Maduro. Um, I paid, I think I paid like, I think I paid like $9 for this at the B&M. Uh, you'll find like better prices if you're if you go um, through the internet um, just a wonderful wonderful smoke um, just wonderful wow that's spicy the body's building up it's, it's, it's at full now strength's building the medium full the full flavor is just very full um you know, just wonderful. Um, so I'm going to have a break um, into the uh, first third of the Metropolitan. Um, going to have a break. Um, again, happy St. Patrick's Day out there. Slancha. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the day and the night. Um, you all take care out there. Okay, amigos. Mis amigos. Vaya con Dios. Hey guys, welcome back to the special edition St. Patrick's Day uh, video cigar review of the um, Nat Sherman uh, Metropolitan Post Maduro Corona Gorda. Um, as you can tell, we're into the uh, second third, around the middle uh, portion of the cigar. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful smoke this is. I was smoking it in the backyard. Um, uh, during, in, during the interim, and, um, I was getting ve very spicy, uh, very spicy, along with lemon spice, uh, through the retrohale, now I'm getting lemon, and, and then, um, through the exhale, through the mouth, getting, like, cough, black coffee, um, spice, lemon, lemon spice, um, dark acidic, um, tobacco um, and charcoal with a heavy heavy body very good draw very good construction of uh, medium full strength um, full flavor um, as you can tell the burns really good the draw is excellent um, uh, just a wonderful wonderful smoke right now um, loving it for this St. Patrick's Day um,
It's really spicy, really, really good rich tobacco. Just wonderful. Having some Irish coffee. I'm going to move on to the second uh, alcoholic beverage. Good old um, Irish harp. Harp Irish lager. Um, I believe Guinness um, Guinness is the producer of this uh, lager, I believe. Um, just a delicious lager. Um, Irish lager. Just crisp, clean, and refreshing. Just um, kind of malty, um, but very delicious. Um, I would say this is a lot maltier than say like a Budweiser or a Soul, or like a or like a Michelob or a, a Coors. It's a lot, somewhat maltier than that. Them, but still very crisp, clean, and refreshing lager from Ireland. Celebrating um, St. Patrick's Day with some Irish themed um, alcoholic beverages. Just wonderful. Love the old heart. Uh, I've been drinking that for a long time. Um, not in my regular roster of beers that I buy, but um, you know, I was in a liquor store maybe a, you know a couple of days ago and I saw it and I, I hadn't had it for a while, so fortunately I did buy it so I could have it for the St. Patrick's Day review. So that was fortunate. Ooh, Ireland. Love to go to Ireland. My mom's been there. She loved it. You know, lush green um, everywhere. Um, the Emerald Isle. Um, just, a, just a wonderful country with a wonderful tradition um, and culture um, and women. <laughs> Irish women. I mean, you gotta love them, so. Yeah, lemon. Lemon and tobacco. Um, one thing I noticed about this uh, Metropolitan is that it doesn't like to be rushed. Um, when you start rushing it, um, it it kind of like kind of get the the flavors get muddled, and it starts to lose its characteristic flavors. So it's not good to rush this cigar. Or this particular cigar, anyway. spicy. Very delicious. Uh, good old Irish coffee. Irish coffee, good in the morning, good in the afternoon, and good at night. I mean, it's a very versatile drink. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so today is um, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Wednesday, March 17, like I said, St. Patrick's Day always falls um, on March 17, um, St. Patrick's uh, Day when he passed away. Um, national holiday in Ireland, or whether it be the Republic of Ireland or Northern Ireland. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful holiday. You know, I mean, people get excited. I get excited. It's, it's the springtime. So, you know, it's a wonderful, wonderful holiday. A time to forget the, your cares in the world, you know. Um, why worry about it? You know what I mean. I'm not gonna worry about it on St. Patrick's Day. I'm drinking on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Slide shot. Yeah, I would love to go to Ireland. You know, see the sights, see the women, um, eat the food, listen to the music. Um, maybe read some great Irish literature. Ireland, you know, it's a rich in tradition, uh, rich in tradition and culture. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day, you know, to the Emerald Isle. Getting a lemon through the retro hail uh, for the um, for the Nat Sherman um, uh, Metropolitan host uh, Maduro. As you can tell, we're heading into the final third. Um, yeah, I'm going to give you uh, one more last tasting um, of this uh, 
Metropolitan. Um, as you can tell, we're, he we're heading into the final third. I want to... I'll give you one last tasting before I take off the bands on this thing. Um, so they don't ignite <laughs> and ruin, my ruin the flavor of this wonderful, wonderful cigar. Wow. Spicy, rich, complex, nuanced tobacco flavor. Um, doesn't really remind me, and the, the, the sweetness comes in and out. Like I said earlier in the review, the, there's a really heavy sweetness, and it kind of comes in and out. This doesn't necessarily remind me of a, of a Maduro, um, a typical Maduro steak. Um, I mean, the, the color of the cigar is not really uh, that dark of a Maduro. I mean, it is a Maduro, but it's not that dark. Um, it's a very light Maduro, and, it, and its flavors are indicative of the color um, of, of, this, of this Maduro. Which is not that dark um, or black. Um, Maduros tend to tend to be like you know um, have chocolate, coffee, uh, oak, uh, rich tobacco flavor, dark tobacco flavor, and this one has a lighter shade of brown um, tobacco flavor. Really rich nuance, but it does have a deep black coffee flavor sometimes. Um, and and that's what I'm getting right now. I'm gonna do a retro hail and then I'm gonna take a break. Very sweet, lemony, with tobacco, and that's it. So, um, like I said, we're into the we're heading into the final third. Um, that's what I'm getting from this beautiful um, Metropolitan um, Matt Sherman Metropolitan Host Maduro uh, Corona Gorda. Uh, like I said, I bought this at a local B and M, so it's not coming out of my personal um, collection. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful cigar on this wonderful St. Patrick's Day in Baltimore, Maryland, or wherever you are for St. Patrick's Day on March 17. Wanting you, uh, wishing you the, all the best, good health, um, good times during this this um, St. Patrick's Day, and to return safely after the days and nights festivities on St. Patrick's Day. Anyway, here's to you guys. Um, varios con Dios, amigos. Um... Take care. Catch you on the flip side. Hello. Como estas? Que tal? Welcome back to the um, special special edition St. Patrick's Day uh, cigar review for the uh, Nat Sherman Metropolitan Host Maduro um, Retro Hail. Um, explained um, edition for this cigar review. Um, I was smoking the uh, the old Metropolitan in the uh, backyard, and um, this cigar is wonderful. Um, it's got a very rich tobacco flavor, very spicy. Um, sometimes you get the lemon um, off the exhale. Um, it's got like black coffee, a rich, nuanced, delicious tobacco flavor. Um and charcoal uh, and spice. Through the retro hail, I'm getting lemon, lemon tobacco. Um, not not typical of a Maduro cigar. Um, it's it's more of like a like a dark natural kind of like um, maybe Habano kind of like flavor. Uh, and and you can tell the um, the wrapper really isn't that Maduro. It's more, it's more of like a dark natural color to me, um, and the flavors speak to that. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful cigar experience. Um, I want to say the uh, draw is full. Um, the burn line is perfect. I mean, like I haven't touched this up once, and it's like very good burn line, if not razor sharp. Um, so the draw is full. The burn is just perfect. Uh, haven't had to touch it up once. Um, the body is like medium full to full. The the flavor is full, and the strength is right there at medium full. So um, wonderful stick so far. Hmm. Wow, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful tobacco flavor right now with some spice. It's wonderful. 
Um, the Irish theme today, because it's St. Patrick's Day, had a heart um, beer from Ireland. Drinking some Irish coffee. The next um, Irish um, liquor that we'll be um, pairing the uh, Metropolitan is the um, Jameson Black Barrel Irish Whiskey um, aged in charred oak and double charred oak barrels um, for um, it says what does it say here it says um, it says um, it, it says char charred and uh, Aged in, in um, oak barrel, charred oak barrels, and double charred oak barrels. Um, delivering unique spiciness, vanilla, vanilla sweetness, and um, nutty notes. And and this cigar does have nutty notes too. I forgot to mention that. Um, so here we go. The Jameson um, Black Barrel uh, Irish Whiskey. Um, I love Jameson. I, I mean, I, I've been drinking Jameson for a long time. I love Jameson. A lot of people will say, well, Jameson is only good for, like, making Irish coffee. I don't believe in that. Um, my best friend um, who passed away, I mentioned this earlier in another cigar review, his and my favorite Irish whiskey was Jameson. I, I got it for his birthday one year. We finished it together, so... I, I mean, I have a long history with Jameson. Jameson's a great Irish whiskey. Gonna pour myself a little bit of a pour here. The uh, Jameson, um, Jame Jameson um, Irish whiskey, Jameson Black Barrel Irish whiskey. Um, I love Jameson, whether it's regular Jameson or Jameson Black Barrel, or I know they have a um, special aged aged um, Jameson. That's a very delicious um, Irish whiskey. Um, the, a special aged one, um, aged longer than the than the general um, Jameson. So here it is, the Jameson Black Barrel. Give you a nose. Oh, excuse me. Mmm, smells delicious. Smells like just elegant um, caramel caramel notes coming off the nose. Oh, just delicious. It's, it's a, a touch of sweetness. Very caramely. Very rich, nuanced caramel. Very complex. Uh, very delicious. Um, got some vanilla. I taste the vanilla. Um, there is nuttiness. I do taste the nuttiness. So it's a very delicious uh, Irish whiskey. Celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day today. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Sunday, uh, March 17th, 2019. To Ireland, to the Irish people, and everyone around the world, Slancha. Good health and good happiness. Good love. Slancha. Mmm. Loving it. Loving the Irish. The Irish culture and the Irish uh, beverages. Loving this cigar. Very nutty. Very nutty right now. Very nutty. The nutty tobacco. As you can tell, we're into the final third um, of the um, Nat Sherman um, Metropolitan Host Maduro uh, Corona Gorda. Um, a New York, uh, an American cigar uh, company um, based out of New York City. Um, they have a Nat Sherman uh, tobacconist uh, in, in to store in New York City. Um, this is a Honduran smoke and a Honduran puro, um, and um, the uh, they have Mr. Michael Herklotz kind of like uh, running. Um, Running the uh, the 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 cigar producing part of um, the company, um, they're a tobacconist, so they deal in um, like cigarettes, pipes, and tobacco, and whatever products associated with that. Like I said, they have a main store in New York City, Manhattan. It 
established in 1930. Um, this is a wonderful historic company. Um, yeah, just wonderful. I mean, they have various lines. I think the first one, no, not the first Nat Sherman. Actually, it might have been the first Nat Sherman that I smoked was a Timeless. But I think I smoked not Nat Sherman in the 90s before. I might have. Um, but I think the one that, the, in the recent times, the first one that I smoked was a Timeless, which is a very good cigar in itself. And they have various other lines and everything, um, Nat Sherman. Uh, Mr. Herklotz is doing a a plus job, I believe. So it's the spring in America. Um, you know, the weather is turning beautiful. A good time to, um, you know, whether you're gardening or planting flowers and vegetables and just getting out there in the uh, outdoors because we can now because the weather is so nice and these climates that um, have winter. Um, so it's, it's a good time of the year. It, I mean, spring cleaning, um, time to have cookouts and parties and, you know, and try to forget the cares of the world, you know what I mean? Because this is a troubled world we live in, but I'm not going to uh, go in that direction. Um, it's, it's St. Patrick's Day and I prefer to leave my cares behind me and, uh, I just... Yes. Enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Charcoal, some rich, dark tobacco, acidic tobacco, a lot of charcoal. Um, ah, that was really good. Lemon through the retro hill. So I'm hoping you guys are having a wonderful spring out there. Um, you know, I, I wish you all the best. Um, try to, like, forget about what's going on in the world and just, you know, do your best to, like, to live a happy life. And that's all I wish for you guys um, on the St. Patrick's Day. So here's to uh, St. Patrick's Day, um, to Ireland, to the Irish people. To all the people around the world, um, Svanja, good life, and good fortune, Svanja. Mm-mm-mm, Jameson Black Barrel, gotta love it on St. Patrick's. Give you one last tasting um, before I head into uh, the the conclusion of this cigar review. Ooh, rich tobacco flavor, charcoal, and extreme spice. Just wonderful. Alright, so that's what that's where we are um, in this special edition um, St. Patrick's Day edition um, Retro Hailing Explained. Um, yeah, so um, my recommendation for this cigar unequivocally five out of five stars. My 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 best recommendation. Um <clears throat> Lemon.
Beautiful. Charcoal and tobacco and spice. So there it is. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful cigar. Five out of five stars for the Nat Sherman American Company uh, Metropolitan um, Host Maduro um, Honduran um, Puro. On this uh, St. Patrick's Day, 2019, um, I wish you all the best. A great cigar, like I said, the um, Metropolitan, five out of five stars. Can't recommend it more highly. I wish you the best. Okay, I'm going to end this review the way I usually end my reviews. I wish you all the best. Good health, good wealth, good fortune, the best of friends, and most important fa and most importantly family. On this St. Patrick's Day, Slancha. Take care. Good day.